What is up and welcome back to the Plymouth Argyle career. And we start today with a very big match against fourth place Rotherham United. And logic would dictate that we just kind of see out the rest of the season, stick with what we know works, give us give ourselves the best chance to win as many games as possible down the stretch. However, given that we just lost Houghton for the rest of the year, our only defensive midfielder, I'm tempted to switch formations and at least see what happens. See if this works. Try Ennis on the left wing. Try George Cooper on the right wing. Tierney, throw him into the midfield. He actually is second on the team this season in assists. He's actually having quietly a very, very good season. And you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's, let's just see what happens. All right. I do so hope that this is not a mistake. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, they're coming forward. Oh, that was a very nice pass. I was not expecting that. Oh, Michael, get up, please. Don't punch him, Mikey. Michael, catch the ball. Oh, oh we're, we're less than 15 minutes in. I've already had a heart attack. We're okay. Another pass there. Yes, beautiful. In there for Jeff Cott. Get there. Oh, Luke Jeff Cott. He's in the running for Golden Boot this season. He's currently in second. We want to get him as many, go as many goals as possible. We would like to at least get a trophy for one of our players this year. Oh, look at the link up play up the wings. Ennis, I'm telling you, man, Ennis is actually going to be a weapon out there. We got the ball away. Douglas, headers right down the middle. Ooh, this this attack, this attack is, is fun to play with. In for Ennis, Ennis, ball in there, lovely. I didn't mean that for Kamara. I want it for Cooper. There's George Cooper. Hey, you know what? Ennis and Cooper up the wings. Very good. Very, very good. Spider, are you good? Oh, he's he's absolutely golden. Spider! Oh! Just couldn't sort out Niall Ennis' feet. He just couldn't get it out of his feet to get the shot away. Oh, man. This is... It's like night and day. This team is so much better now. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball to Spider. What a touch by Spider as well. Spider finishes it. Beautifully worked stuff. 3-0 to Plymouth. This team... A steamrolling Rotherham night right now. Oh no, Ennis is down. Seriously? Ennis gets hurt in his first game at the, on the wing? Ref, there's, look at these slide tackles, they're disgusting. Do we have another player down? Oh my god, Onomeo's down! I just took Ennis off because he got he picked up an injury. Now Onomeo's picked up an injury. Oh, what a ball. What a ball from Michael Cooper. Up here for George Cooper. Cooper in. George. George Cooper with his second goal of the game. It's 4 nothing to Plymouth. This dude was playing left back. He lost his spot because he was just so out of position. He moves to, to right wing and he's just a revelation. Good block, Scar. There's the end of the game. Ooh, got, a little, got a little shaky there towards the end. They really came with the press and we almost caught us out a couple of times. But we're good. Clean sheet. Four goals scored against fourth place Rotherham. I, I, I have no complaints. That that was much better than I ever could have expected. Well, thankfully, everyone that picked up a knock in that last match has recovered. We actually are, are fully good, fully fit for this next one, aside from Houghton, who still has the broken toe. But I am going to take this opportunity now to call up one of our Youth Academy players. Because the 4-3-3 works so well, I want to start integrating youngsters as, as early as possible to kind of see who is good and who's not, what we need to buy next season. And this player actually was customized by one of the members on the channel. He's a Ballon d'Or Club member, so I decided to let him customize a Youth Academy player. If you are a member of the channel and you want to customize a Youth Academy player, hit me up. We can work something out. So this player, he's got a backstory to him. His name is Ricky Ditka. He's the great-grandson of the famous Bears coach, Mike Ditka. Hailing from Chicago, Illinois, he grew up idolizing his great-grandfather. He wears the number 89 in his honor, which I know is a weird number for this sport, but allow it, okay? His, his dad is a legend. Let him wear his number. He's also, uh, being from Chicago, he's a big Chicago Bears fan, so he wears orange boots and an orange bracelet to celebrate his hometown team there. And he is named after the running back, Ricky Williams, because, well, if you know Mike Ditka, you know why. I'm not going to explain that one. I'm not getting that far into it, but Ricky Ditka is going to play some winger for us in this next match. And I actually considered simming this one, but one of our objectives this season is to win 12 home games. We need four more wins at home, and we only have five more home games. So I'm pretty much going to play every home game for the rest of the season and hope we can at least win four out of five. All right, the debut 
of one Ricky Ditka. Let's see what this young American can play. He's actually the first, I forgot, he's the first American into the team. So that, that's a special honor for him as well. Tomorrow finds the space for Jeff Cott. Referee? What is the point of that slide tackle? He was going away from goal. He actually red carded him for the first time this season after about 10,000 disgusting slide tackles. We've finally seen a red card for an opponent. Oh my goodness. Ooh, well defended. Not well defended. Not, I, I thought it was well defended and then that pass kind of caught everyone out. So down a man. Morecambe takes the lead. Not, not good for us. Here we go. Tierney. Okay, he kind of cooked that pass, but here's Ricky Ditka on the ball. Ricky. Oh, skins one man. Let's go, Ricky. Oh, too much dribbling. Too much dribbling. I got to forget. He's 58 rated. He really can't do very much on it. There's George. Nice little overlap there. Beautiful. Edwards back for Jeff Cott. Clinical finish from Luke Jeff Cott. And he equalizes. Love that. That was beautifully worked. Oh, no. He scored again. How, how is this How is this happening? How have we given two goals to a 10-man Morecambe team and, and Rotherham couldn't score a single goal all of last match? What, what is happening? Sprays it out wide. I tell you what, Dick is finding a lot of space up this wing. Oh, he keeps the ball. Go on, Ricky. Deliver it to Jeff Cott. Oh, no. Jeff Cott hit the header right down the middle. Cooper almost turns it goal side. He can't. Oh, they're going to clear it away. That was so close. A nice play, Cooper. Get that ball. Jeff Cott, touch, finish. Luke Jeff Cott equalizes yet again right before halftime. Oh, at least at this, at this formation, not only is it is it working, creating chances, it's getting Luke Jeff Cott on the score sheet a lot, and I love that. For Ditka, Ricky Ditka in there. Jeff Cott, diving header. So close to finding the go-ahead goal there. Tierney out here for Galloway. Why is Galloway so far forward? Oh, pass it in there. Spider. Yes, Jeff Cott! Is he onside? He is onside! Hat trick for Luke Jeff Cott. There's the go-ahead goal we've been looking for. It took us 80 minutes to finally get this lead. But we got it. Ricky! Ricky did go on his debut! I don't even know how the pass found him! But number 89, Ricky Ditka on his debut. Are you serious? Go on, youngster. That's what we love to see. There's the final whistle. Very rocky start from us, but kept our heads, kept the pressure on, got our goals. Another four. Was that two back-to-back -back games with four goals? Yeah, yeah I think this formation is going to do wonders for us. All right, up next for us now, we have Bolton. And we're going to go ahead and sim this one. I think they're in like 18th place. I've rotated the team a little bit. And we still pick up the win. And scored twice. What, Hardy scored? Hardy came on as a sub and scored. And Kamara scored. And it looks like Hardy also missed a pen. Okay. Nice. And now we have Accrington a week later. This is a home game against the bottom team in the league. I said we got to win some home games. This is almost as much of a gimme as we're going to get. I got to believe that we're going to be able to handle this one, right? We got to be able to sim and win at home. Okay, it was close. Jeff got with an 83rd minute winner, but we did get the win. Edwards also scored as well as Otomeo. And we move on now to take on Ipswich. Luke Jeffcott has been called away on international duty, so he is unavailable for this one. And I've decided to go with Hardy in the middle, keep Ennis on the wing, and, and leave Cooper over there on the right. Thought about bringing Ditka in and moving Ennis in the middle, but I think this gives us our best shot. Plus, Hardy hasn't played a lot recently, so we'll give him a game. Oh, how, bro. How does that keep happening to us? Like, our players, they're in the right positions, and they just can't make the tackle. I don't understand. Like, we have the positioning. He poked the ball through Edwards' feet. Oh, my God. There was no foul. Oh, he gave the ball back. No way. How is there not a foul on that? Oh, Odomeo just killed a man. Well-timed run from Spider. Spider coming in. Here's Spider Douglas. Just have the shot. Spider! Near post. Questionable goalkeeping, but we'll take it. We found our equalizer. Oh, there's lots of space here. Hardy. Okay, yeah. No, I'm taking Hardy off. He's not even going to make it to halftime. I'm sorry, Hardy is just, he, he just isn't it. He's just not. I'm bringing on Ditka. We're putting Ennis in the middle. Ryan Hardy is awful. Oh, 
How did that pass? What? How did that pass even find him? Wait, 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 wait. I need to see a replay. How in the world? First of all, Galloway is like a bust. He's horrible over there. Seriously, with that? I, I, wow. Like, what is that? What was that pass? I'm so confused about what Tierney just did. How do you just miss the ball on a pass like that? That makes no sense. Oh, Otomeo is still being the king that he is. Oh my god, that hit the post. How did Cooper not get to that ball? What? And then Tierney gets nutmegged. They're going to score a goal here. Yeah, I mean, this, this is one of those games. It's just one of those games where we didn't come to play. When he gets that ball out to Ditka. Oi, Ditka! With the burners! Go on, Ricky! Ditka's still on it! Go on, Ditka! Find that cross! He does! Oh, save! Kyle. Oi, oh, nice move to open up the space! Oh, we still can't score! Ditka almost got another one! There's the final whistle. Like I said, it's just one of those games. We were not meant to win that game at all. So we are into April now, final month of the season, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to sim the first three games, Oxford, Burton Albion, and Wickham, and then see where we're at in regards to the automatic promotion spot. Currently, we sit in second place, but I think we're only two points ahead of Sunderland, and they have a game in hand. So when we get to this Sunderland game, we'll see where we're at, we'll probably play it, and then either we'll secure automatic promotion, or we'll know that we're probably going to end up in the playoffs and that will end up being next episode. So let's sim these first three games. Up first, Oxford United and Luke Jeffcott back in the team. Thank God. I can't do Ryan Hardy up top anymore. He is really that bad. Ricky Ditka comes on and scores a goal. Kamara gets one as well. And we beat Oxford 2-0. Yo, Ricky Ditka. He really is that dude, isn't he? He really is that good. And up next, we have Burton Albion. We're going to go ahead and give this start to Ricky Ditka in this one. He's in a great run of form. Might as well roll with the hot hand. And we get the win. And who gets the goal? It's that guy, Ricky Ditka. What is this dude? And finally, we're away to Wickham here. We're going to stick with Ditka because why the hell not? He's kind of carrying us this month. Kind of unexpectedly. We get the win. Ryan Hardy. Came on for Ditka and scored. Ryan Hardy scored a goal. What? So obviously, with us winning almost every game today, we put ourselves in a really good position. We're actually eight points clear of third place, which is now Rotherham. Sunderland have fallen to fourth. So we're in a really good spot, and that means we're just going to keep simulating games. We'll go to the last day of the season. If we need points then, then we'll go ahead and play that last game. So let's get this one out of the way at home against Sunderland's a 3-1 loss. I think on paper Sunderland is still better than us, but with our form I was kind of hoping we could still pull out the win there. And finally we have Wigan Athletic. I'm hoping all we need is a win. A win and we are through. And it's another loss. Oh no. Okay. Well, let's uh let's check the table. So here is how things are shaping up. That team above us, who I'm still not going to try to say their name, they've run away with the league. Fair enough. Good on them. Sunderland have moved back to third, and they're tied on points with Rotherham. They're five points behind us with a game in hand. So they have six points possibly left to play for. All we need from our last match is literally a point. We're at home against 20th place MK Dons. I, I would hope that this is doable for us. Galloway, come in here, you big goob. Oh, FK. Yes. Shoot it. Is it on? It is on. Spider Douglas with the goal early on. Assist to Luke Jeffcott. I got my words all mumbled up. I think I just called him Epcot. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We've got the 1-0 lead. We're off to a good start. Spider Douglas. A little hesitation dribble there. Spider opens up the pass for Jeffcott. Jeffcott. Unselfish across for Tierney who bangs it into the back of the net. Two assists for Luke Jeffcott. He's still in a golden boot race as well. I haven't even checked the, uh, the standings for that. He probably needs to score a few goals here and he has two assists. But hey, we're going up. Just trying to find the right passes at the right moments. That's a nice play. Jeffcott back heel. Three assists for Luke Jeffcott. It's all clicking now. Kamara with the goal. 3-0 to Plymouth. Woo!
We're on fire. Oh, I should have had that. Oh, we really misplayed that. Oh, hey, Michael Cooper, good save. Oh, that was that was horribly defended from us. Tierney back for Edwards. Oh, slide tackle. Still Edwards. Still Edwards. Oh, off the crossbar. Yo, Joe almost scored a banger. Spider's different, man. He's different. He, he scores some just nasty goals. Some nasty individual goals. Ooh, him, with him and Ditka, the future is bright at Plymouth. And there is the final whistle. We do it. We clinch it at home. Promotion for Plymouth Argyle. Look at what it means to the players and the fans. They know what they've done. They know what the future holds for us. We're going up. We're going to the championship. And so with that, we head into our first offseason with Plymouth. We know what we have to do. We need to bring in some more wingers. We need to add depth in those positions. I'm actually very happy with what we have there right now with Ennis, Ditka, and uh, George Cooper. But if we could add one or two more to that mix and maybe a more defensive-minded midfielder as well, I think our budget's going to go up quite a bit moving up a league. So that'll help us a lot. We know what we need to do. It's laid out in front of us, but the road ahead is going to be very difficult. So that's where we're going to end this one for today. If you're looking forward to season number two in the championship, make sure to let me know, believe in a like below, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back when we get life started in the championship. See ya.